I am going to solve a numerical problem related with an equation that is f equal to g m1 m2 by d square. Look at this equation. This equation is obtained by Newton's law of gravitation. Here f means gravitational force, g is gravitational constant, m1 mass of first body, m2 mass of second body and d is distance between them. Now, I am going to solve this numerical problem using this equation. Now, at first, we have to write the information given in the numerical problem. Look at this. Mass of sun is this much. This means first information is mass of sun. It can be denoted by m1, which is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 30 kilograms. And look at another information and the earth is this much. It means mass of earth is given. Mass of earth which can be denoted by m2 and this is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 24 kilogram. Now the distance between sun and earth is given that is 1.5 distance. Distance that is denoted by d, d is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 kilometer. Now, at this point, you have to think about this kilometer. This kilogram is SI system of according to SI system of mass, its unit is kilogram. But kilometer is not according to SI system, we have to convert it into meter. And 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 kilometer is can, can be converted into meter by multiplying it with 1000. So I'm going to multiply it with 1000. 10 to the power 3 means 1 having 3 zeros it is 1000 and now it is converted to meter. This is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 and here 10 to the power 3. When there are same bases, then power can be added with each other. 8 plus 3 is 11. And this is the distance between them. Now question came, calculate the gravitational force between them. Now I am writing gravitational force. Gravitational force, which is denoted by F and this is question. Now look at this equation here m1 is given here it is m2 is given here it is and distance is given here it is but g is missing capital G and so we cannot calculate this gravitational force F so we have to write the value of g ourselves. If it is not given in numerical problem, then we can write because this value is true for any heavenly bodies or any bodies of this universe. So I am writing gravitational constant capital Z equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square by kg square. This unit is Newton meter square by kg square according to SI system. Now here we have to code that we know. The value of G is this much. Now we have we have this equation. I am going to write this equation here F equal to capital G M1 M2 by D square. Now we are, we are going to write the value of these symbols 6 is 6 point 6 7 into 10 to the power minus 11 this is the value of G and m1 is 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg and m2 is 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg we are not writing units in the process it's not necessary okay now d is how much 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter and we have to write d square not only d now it will be better to have these numbers first this way 6.67 into 2 into 6 into 
and then I am writing power of 10, 10 to the power minus 11 into 10 to the power 30 into 10 to the power 24. Why I am doing this? Number is written at first and then power of 10 is written to avoid the confusion only. Now here, 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 is square means we can write this twice. Just like a square means a into a in the same way. 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 whole square means what? 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 into 1.5 into 10 to the power 11. Now I am going to multiply these numbers with the help of calculator. If we multiply this number with the help of calculator like this 6.67 6.67 into 2 into 6 then we'll have this is equal to 80.04. Now power of 10 is left. 10 to the power minus 11 and plus 30 plus 24. Now in denominator 15 into 15 is 225. 225 but after decimal point here one digit another digit that's why there must be two digits after decimal point 2.25 into 10 to the power 11 plus 11. 10 to the power 11 plus 11. Now this is equal to. Now we have to divide this number with this number. 80.04 divided by 2.25 is equal to 35.5733. Okay, this much is enough. Now this into. 10 to the power minus 11 plus 30 plus 24. It means we are going to add these two. 30 plus 24 becomes 54 minus 11 becomes 43. And in denominator it's already gone. This is left 10 to the power 22. And this is equal to 35.5733 into 10 to the power 43. If this 10 to the power 22 is taken in numerator, then it becomes 10 to the power minus 22. Power is negative now. This is equal to. Now answer is coming. And at the end we express the number in such a way that decimal point is after one digit. It means here decimal point is after two digit. That's why I want to shift it to after one digit. I mean to say I want to shift it to left hand side. 3.55733 we cannot shift and uh, shift without any multiplication and division since the point is shifted to left hand side that's why we have to multiply it with 10 to the power 1 if it was shifted two digit left hand side then 10 to the power 2 if it was shifted four digit left hand side 10 to the power 4 but here one digit left hand side that's why 10 to the power 1 into 4, 10 to the power sorry 10 to the power 43 into 10 to the power minus 22. Now this is equal to 3 point. After point, this final answer, there are many digits. It is, in, it is general practice to write only two digits. That's why one digit is 5, second digit is 5, third digit is greater than 5. That's why I'm going to add 1 from third digit to second digit and it becomes 6 and other, yeah, other these digits are ignored. Now 10 to the power 1 plus 43 becomes 44 minus 10 to the power 22 44 minus 22 into 10 to the power 22. Therefore the force gravitational force Therefore, the gravitational force between them is 3.56 into 10 to the power 22 Newton. This is our final answer.